The net present value method is a financial technique which is used by businesses to assess the profitability of an investment by comparing the present value of its future cash flows. Unlike some other methods of investment appraisal, the net present value calculation takes into account the time value of money, recognising that a pound received in the future is worth less than a pound received today. This is because money that's available today could be invested by a business and earn additional interest, meaning it would grow in value over time and would therefore be worth more in the future. This is why it's important for businesses to compare what any future returns from an investment would be really worth if they were to receive it today so that it has a more accurate insight into the real terms level of return that they can expect to receive from an investment and make a more informed decision. Think about it. If you're offered the choice of receiving £1,000 today or £1,000 in five years time, you'd be much better to take the £1,000 today as it is worth more now than it would be in five years time. What initially looks like a good return might not be so lucrative once the time value of money is considered. But you might be thinking, how do businesses calculate the time value of money and identify what future cash flows would be worth if they were received today? This is where discount factors come into play. By using a discount table, a business is able to identify what discount factor a future cash flow must be multiplied by to calculate its present value. For example, if a potential investment was predicted to provide a return of £1,000 in five years time, and the discount rate was 10%, the business could use this discount table to identify that this £1,000 return would need to be multiplied by 0.62 to calculate what its present value would be. So that's £1,000 times 0.62, which equals £620, meaning that the £1,000 return in five years is actually worth just £620 in its present value in today's money. Knowing this helps businesses in evaluating potential investment opportunities and determining their viability. Net present value also allows for a direct comparison between different investment options, enabling businesses to prioritise and select the most financially attractive projects. Let's explore a scenario where a window cleaning business is evaluating a single investment project using a discount rate of 20%. This particular investment project requires an initial outlay of £80,000 and is expected to generate cash inflows of £25,000 per year for five years. To calculate the present value of future cash flows using the discount table, we need to use the following formula. It's cash flow multiplied by the discount factor and the answer will provide you with the cash flow's present value. Now in this example, the discount factors have been provided for you in the table below. So let's get on with it and calculate the present value of the net cash flows for the business. In year one, £25,000 is multiplied by 0.83, resulting in a present value of £20,750. In year two, £25,000 is multiplied by 0.69, resulting in a present value of £17,250. Now, you may have noticed how the cash inflow is multiplied by a bigger discount factor in year two than it was in year one. This is because waiting 24 months for a return on investment means that the money will be less valuable than it is after waiting just 12 months. And this trend continues year on year. In the third year, 25,000 pound is multiplied by 0.58, resulting in a present value of 14,500 pounds. In year four, 25,000 is multiplied by 0.48, resulting in a present value of £12,000 and in year 5, £25,000 is multiplied by 0 0.40, resulting in a present value of £10,000. Now that we have calculated the present values of the yearly returns, we just need to calculate the net present value of the investment. To calculate the net present value of the investment, we simply need to subtract the initial investment from the sum of the present values that we've just calculated. So that's £20,750 plus £17,250 plus £14,500 plus £12,000 plus £10,000 minus the initial investment of £80,000 which equals minus £5,500 
meaning that in this scenario, with a discount rate of 20%, the net present value of the investment is minus £5,500. This negative net present value suggests that the present value of the cash inflows falls short of the initial investment, indicating that the project may not be financially viable or profitable. In comparison to the net return of £45,000, which was calculated before taking into account discount factors or the present value of cash inflows. Now it's your turn to have a go at calculating the net present value of two potential investments to assess which project would be the better investment for a local restaurant business. So a local restaurant business is considering two different investment projects, Project Pasta and Project Pizza. Your task is to calculate the net present value for each project using a discount rate of 15%. The discount factors have already been provided for you in the table below. You can pause your screen now to attempt the question and then follow me as I walk you through the scenario once you are ready. Hopefully you've all now had a go at calculating the net present value of both investment options which a local restaurant business is considering. So let's walk through the calculations starting with Project Pasta. Project Pasta requires an initial investment of £50,000 and is expected to generate cash inflows of £15,000 per year for four years. And just like we did in the previous example, all we need to do is multiply each of these £15,000 cash inflows by the relevant discount factor. So in year one, that's £15,000 multiplied by 0 0.87, resulting in a present value of £13,050. In year two, £15,000 is multiplied by 0 0.76, resulting in a present value of £11,400. In the third year, £15,000 is multiplied by 0 0.66, resulting in a present value of £9,900. And in year four, £15,000 is multiplied by 0 0.57, resulting in a present value of £8,000. £550. Now that we have calculated the present values of the yearly returns for Project Pasta, we are able to calculate the net present value of the investment by subtracting the cost of the initial investment from the sum of the present values. So that's £13,050 plus £11,400 plus £9,900 plus £8,550 minus the initial investment amount of £50,000 which equals minus £7,000. £100. You just need to repeat this process for Project Pizza which requires an initial investment of £100,000 and is expected to generate varying levels of cash inflows over a five year period. In year one, £26,000 is multiplied by 0 0.87 resulting in a present value of £22,620. In year two, £32,000 is multiplied by 0 0.76 resulting in a present value of £24,320. In the third year, £35,000 is multiplied by 0 0.66, resulting in a present value of £23,100. In the fourth year, £42,000 is multiplied by 0 0.57, resulting in a present value of £23,940. And in the fifth year, £34,000 is multiplied by 0 0.50, resulting in a present value of £17,000. The next part of the process is to add up all these present values and calculate the net present value of the investment returns for Project Pizza. So that's £22,620 plus £24,320 plus £23,100 plus £23,940 plus £17,000 minus the initial investment amount of £100,000 which equals £10,980. We now know that based on the calculations, the net present value for Project Pasta is minus £7,100, which suggests that the project's present value of cash inflows falls short of the initial investment, indicating a less desirable investment option, whereas the net present value for Project Pizza is £10,980 indicating that the project's present value of cash inflows exceeds the initial investment amount, suggesting a potentially viable investment and it's certainly the better option for the local restaurant business. 
Hopefully, at this point, you feel like you're gaining a good understanding of what the net present value is and how it is calculated. So let's finish by taking a quick look at the advantages and disadvantages of using the net present value in business. The net present value method offers several advantages. Firstly, it considers the time value of money, providing a more accurate assessment of an investment's profitability. By calculating the present value of cash flows, it reflects the opportunity cost of tying up capital in a project. Secondly, net present value allows for easy comparison between different investment alternatives as it provides a single value that reflects the project's value in today's terms. Additionally, it considers all cash flows throughout the project's life, providing a comprehensive evaluation of the investment. Net present value also enables sensitivity analysis, allowing businesses to assess the impact of changes in discount rates or cash flow projections on the project's viability. Whilst net present value is a widely used investment appraisal tool, it does have some limitations. One key limitation is the challenge of accurately estimating future cash flows, which may involve uncertainty and assumptions. In addition, inaccurate projections can lead to misleading net present value results. Importantly, the selection of an appropriate discount rate can be subjective as it depends on factors such as the project's risk, the cost of capital and the company's required rate of return. If a discount rate is incorrectly chosen, it can significantly impact the net present value and lead to flawed investment decisions. And finally, the net present value calculation does not consider the size or scale of investments, making it difficult to compare projects with different magnitudes.